Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the batteries in a Arlo Essential Outdoor Camera second generation. So Arlo says that the batteries in this camera are not replaceable. Okay, that's what they say. But that is not true. They can be replaced if you know what you're doing. Now, I'm going to warn you, as soon as you open up this camera, you will automatically void the warranty. I don't care because this camera is older and the warranty has expired. So, that's no big deal to me. And like I said, the warranty has expired. Well, the symptoms that I was getting with this camera was when I plugged it in to charge, I got nothing. I got no indicator lights on the front when I plugged it in. You know how when you plug in your camera to charge, you'll get an indicator light on the front that it's charging. Uh, I got none of that. Uh, so nothing, it was as if the camera was totally dead, the batteries was totally dead. So I figured since this camera's old and out of warranty, I figured I would open this bad boy up and attempt to replace the batteries because I think that is the issue with the camera, is it needs new batteries. All right, so let's talk about the tools that are needed. So you are going to need a PH00 screwdriver or bit set. Okay, I got that. You're going to need a, a T5 or Torque 5 screwdriver or bit. You're going to need a smudger kit to use when you're opening up the camera because the space is tight. You're going to need a small pick kit okay i got a small pick right here and not necessary but you may want to have it is a magnifying glass which i have that also uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to get this back cover off and to get this back cover off we need to get it off with the t5 torque screwdriver so we're just going to pop this in to take it out. Okay. So after that, the second screw that holds the back cover on is this bottom screw here. It is a Phillips, our Phillips right here. It's a uh, size zero. We're just going to use this to uh, take this Phillips screw out. All right, so that's out now. Okay, so there's a couple different ways you can do this to get this back cover off. You can use Sprucer tool to kind of get in here and go around the edges. With the stubby as this camera is, I think there is an easier way. So, if you have a Arlo wall mount, which I do here, okay. Let me grab this wall mount. And if you look at the back, the, this thing is threaded to a quarter and 20 hole. That's the threads, a quarter and 20. So what we can do is we can just attach this mount, screw it in. I'm going to screw this mount in 
So I'm securing the mount to the back. And then I can just kind of work this off. There we go. The easiest way to get it off. Super easy right there. All right, and then from there, we can just unsecure the mount, the wall mount, and take it off. Like I said, you could do it either either way with the spuger tool or use the wall mount technique that I just showed you. All right, so the back is off. And as you can see, well, you probably can't see this. So I'm just going to tell you. So we got four torque five screws here that uh, goes in the battery compartment, which holds the battery. That's what we need to get out. And you may need a magnifying glass to see them, right, to, to, to see them better. This is where the magnifying glass comes in, okay? And I have enough light to be able to see these screws, okay, just, just by looking through the magnifying glass. But this is optional depending on the lighting you have. You may need a, a flashlight. You may need a flashlight to light this bad boy up. See how I'm lighting it up? All right. So I'm going to take these T5 screws out one by one. Yeah, they're kind of hard to see. Like little screws like this to be able to see them. A magnifying glass is a great help. All right, so that's out. And good about this screwdriver is magnetic. Okay, almost there. So let me let me work to get this uh, this screw out. I might I might need to get a, a magnet uh, put a magnet down there to to be able to lift it out. But it's loose though. And it's twisting. There it is. There that sucker came out. Okay, so that sucker came out. Yeah, so it was stuck in there. All right, so we got all four of the screws out that holds down the battery compartment. Now we can now I kind of kind of start lifting it out now. And then through lifting it out a little bit, I can get more room to be able to unclip this uh, bottom plastic part that uh, houses the. Um, USB port. You, you'll see now that this will kind of come out some. See how it's kind of coming out? It's kind of inching out a little bit. There we go. You see it's itching out some? There we go. Alright, so it's coming out. All right, so it probably ain't gonna come all the way out because I gotta unclip this bottom. This it's gonna be hard to see, 
from from where you're sitting. So this little part right here, that's uh, this little plastic part here, that's around the uh, charging port, pops out. Peace. So yeah, just trying to. Like I said, it's gonna be something that I gotta get to. That's definitely gonna have to come out before I can get the battery compartment out. Because the battery compartment comes to comes with the oh there it is right there, it looks like. Oh, here we go. So alright, so that came out. Oh, here we go. So the battery compartment's coming out. Okay, nice. So to get it, probably to, oh, okay, okay. So there it is. So the battery compartment is almost out. Okay, so, okay, nice. All right, so the battery compartment is out. So the clips are as hard as hell to get off. All right, so, okay. All right, so that's out, guys. So as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see this. So this is what it looks like. And if you could see, there's two clips. There's a clip right here and a clip here. Yep, so there's a clip here and a clip on the other side. That you need to that you need to push in, and then this drops out of the bo bottom, as you can see. Hope I got that on camera. So now it's a situation where this can kind of slide out now, right? You see how this you see how this slides out? So that whole thing slid out, right? And this little piece in the bottom was in the way of being able to slide out this because this was this was connecting to the USB port. So once you once you get the USB port out of the way, so the USB port gets to, uh, I'm sorry. So this little plastic piece comes down off of the USB port and then you can slide out the USB port. All right. So uh, that's the hardest part of the disassembly right there. Okay. So, so yeah. So, we want to take out the battery. So, now that we have the camera out with the circuit board, all right, now it's a situation we can unplug the battery compartment. Yep, so we unplug it. And just get your nails underneath it and here we go, just slide it out. Alright, so the battery is unhooked. Alright, so now it's a situation where I'm going to turn around where you can see it. Now I want to slide the battery up. I want to slide the battery up and out. If you can see it. So, uh, so you do, yeah, so it's kind of hard to slide. But I'm sliding in front of you. You can see how it's coming out. Okay, so that, so it's out. It's almost out. So now that it's almost out, we want to bring the wire across and unhook okay so the wire is unhooked and then we just slide the battery the rest of the way out all right so the battery is out all right there we go so here's the battery uh, this is what we're going to replace so let's read the specs of this battery I and it's Arlo branded battery the model number is A19 and it's, and it's a rechargeable lithium-ion battery pack. 
and this is what it looks like here you got your cable and then uh, yeah this is the battery so this is this is what we're replacing uh, this is what went bad and um, yeah guys so that's just what I wanted to show you how to do so I've had to replace uh, a couple of these and it's never fun to have to take this camera apart but uh, I think this is probably my second one that I've had to pull out of uh, uh, an Arlo Essential Outdoor second generation yeah probably the second one that I've had to replace and I must say guys I am selling these batteries of course they're used right I am selling these batteries at my website and then the shop I run an online e-commerce shop and I will put the link to that shop which is hosted at my website I'll put that into the description and you'll see that I have this battery listed for sale and I also have the battery for the Arlo essential spotlight camera first generation right I, I sell that battery on there also and I also sell I got like a Rio link camera on there for sale and a couple other used Arlo essential cameras uh, what, what else do I got at my shop uh, I got electrical cleaner there but anyways I'll link that in the description and you guys can go look at what I got for sale anyways guys I took this apart and kind of showed you how the battery goes in and basically what you do, you would just, you know, take your, take your replacement battery and uh, slide it in, right? And then just reassemble everything in the reverse order. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys later.